the easiest and most simplest way to make afro beats i got a sample loaded up now like usually you want to go for something with like some guitar some type of island type of feel and i mean you might have some samples and the tons of kits that you have and i mean that already got that vibe it's just sometimes you just gotta have an air out for it and i mean listen out for that and i'm pretty sure you got a bunch of samples that you can use if not of course you can use splice and i mean buy some sample packs so bow you load up your sample for this one i raise it up four cents so that's like going up four notes i just kept the sample how it is and just chopped it up to certain parts just to make an arrangement i mean an intro hook verse i mean breakdown pre-hook hook i mean next verse the next thing that you want to do is just grab a afro beat percussion joint i mean this one i got this one the easiest thing you can do is just go get some more loops know what i mean throw the loop in there make sure it's on the same joint uh by the way i also this is at 79 bpm for the sample but this project is at 105 so basically i mean it had to get sped up same thing with this this is at 95 just went in here, go into time, auto detect. If the time is already up there, it's gonna be there. I mean, if not, so like for instance, I said 79, I'll go in here to time, auto detect, type in BPM, 79 BPM. Bow. And then it'll be in time with your uh with your entire projects. Next thing that you want to do is throw in some extra joints that's what we're gonna get into real quick so right here i got this fill that's in there it's not completely right so we're gonna clean that up too also right here in this little section i just made my own little pre-hook breakdown <laughs> Yeah, so there I'ma just flip it up, throw some different type of percussion joints in there just to give it some variation. Like something like that, that could be cool. Like somewhere like here. Give me that, yeah, that's fine. Let's pin that, you know what I mean, give it some space. Also, I'm thinking I want to take, I want to alter this sample, this drum sample. So I'm going to just go ahead and make these cuts. Let's see, like, bow. I want to take the kicks out of this joint. All right, so throw this one last All right, so that's cool. Now what I'm going to do, since we got that, that vibe going, I'm just going to mess with this sample a little bit, just throw some more effects up there, and um, see what kind of vibes we could get out of it.
in here right there One simple crash. Bow. Mm. Mm. I think I'm gonna actually I'm gonna chop this here just to switch it up or build your All right, so the next thing really is just adding your own spice. I mean, um, just throw a couple more perky joints in. So I'm just gonna throw these joints in here. just to accent that let me try this one So what I'm gonna do with this joint though, is this gonna be a different version of what I did here. <clears throat> this is gonna be a different version of what I did here. So so for this one, let's say I'm gonna make unique here. And bow, I'm gonna take take out these extra joints that I just put in. And what else I don't want in there? I don't want these in here. So bow, sound like that. So these two are different patterns. <laughs> two parts because I want it to be I wanted to layer what's already there with the pattern and then I want to do a separate one <laughs> all right so bow let that rock like that bow bow do this part here again make unique so when we come to this part now we can we can I mean switch it up so Let's take these out, take a lot of these out, so. See how we're gonna work that in. 
bow bow put that there also we're gonna mute this one more time we're gonna let this rock on all right and it's one more thing sugars <laughs> up a little bit bring it up there make sure you put the shakers in here too all right so pretty much that's the that's the core of it um so like really like the last part or the next part is just like adding your own type of instrumentation your own sounds to it so the the main thing to go about that and the quickest way to go about that is to get the get the key of the song get the key of the sample so this joint said it was like an f sharp major so being that it's in the F sharp major and I went up four cents or semitones is basically four notes. So if you see this, every time you move it up plus or minus one, you're going up or down a note. So if we started at F sharp and we went up four cents, that means that puts us at a one, two, three, four. That puts us at an A sharp. So that should be A sharp minor. That's what the key of this joint should be. From there, what I would do, what I usually do is I just bring up a simple piano and I just get the keys and I just try to figure out either the chord progression that they was playing or the melodies that they was playing. So bow. So now I have my root notes. I have my root notes down pack of, of this, this song. This is where you can start like really getting creative and start really molding this into like something that like you really a producer like it's not just loops and samples and i mean it's what you do with the loops and samples how you manipulate it like, what you adding on top of it like stuff like what complements it and stuff like that that's that all goes into play boom this is the cause i ended up coming up with just going here going to strum and this is just going to give it a little bit more of a human feel All right, so after you get the chords down, I mean, you got the chords and the root notes, you could pretty much do anything what you want to do, anything that you want to do, tongue tied. All right, so, like, I'm going to take that. I'm just going to bring up uh, Analog Slab, and all I'm going to do is just drop that in Analog Lab, tweak it up, find some sounds that match with that type of vibe, and just keep building. <laughs> I know it's a little busy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out the low frequency. I'm gonna bring it down in the background. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another one and then copy and paste it again. Simple as that. Just keep, and this is to make these sounds unique. Now, I mean, if you play by yourself, I mean, it's cool, it's a nice sound. But if you play it and layer it with something else and it's like other plugins and stuff you can use to like layer different sounds together, this is essentially what I'm doing. And for this, I'm just adding like some melody joint. So it sounds a little cheesy right now, but after I thought throw some effects on it and fix it up. That'll be absolutely fine. I, and I just want to add like some some bell air candy type joint. Um, that's pretty much it, for real, for real. Yeah, so that's it right there. <laughs> 